For all of the new people, my name is Evo Terra. I'm a travel writer and all-around misfit living in Bangkok, Thailand. Disclaimer, I'm about to make fun of an entire country's religion. But I'm not prejudiced. I make fun of every religion equally. If that sounds too offensive for you, I understand. For the rest, have I got a story for you. It all starts with this guy. The Buddha, the Indian sage whose story inspired one of the world's great religions, Buddhism. This is a story about Buddha possessing a body, which I just discovered is a thing. Your mother sucks cocks in hell. It's not that bad. He didn't possess a little girl in this case. He possessed a toad king. That was a close one. Daddy loves Froggy. Froggy love Daddy? Ribbit. Not a frog, a toad. Anyhow, this frog goes by the unbelievable name of... <laughs> close. Kang Cock. Which is arguably funnier. No, Kang Cock. Look, can we not go there? So the Buddha in the body of Kang Cock, King of the Toads, does what he does best, and that's preach. I guess about Buddhism. Only he's so good at it, because Buddha, that he attracts not only the earth creatures, but the sky creatures to his sermons as well. No, you idiot, not birds, angels, elementals, creatures that live in the sky full time. Maybe there's a happy tree. Evergreen tree. He lives right there. Oh, for fuck's sake, Bob, that's a tree. Back to the sky god. He's all pissed off because Kang Kok has stolen his thunder. Get it? Thunder, because sky god, double entendre, and <laughs> yeah. Having no one to preach to really pisses off the Sky God, so he withholds the rain for seven years, seven months, and seven days. How, how is that winning? Now this whole no rain thing really doesn't sit well with King Naga. He's king of the snakes. I guess he's a water snake. Okay, why not? It's not like it's going to make the story any more ridiculous. But Naga is usually represented like this. Yeah, it looks more like a snake unicorn to me. Anyhow, King Naga takes the fight to the Sky God and promptly gets his ass kicked. <laughs> Saw that one coming, didn't you? So beat up Naga goes to Buddha possessed Kang Kok and asks him to take up the fight, which he does in a very weird way. Now the king of the toads convinces the termites to build really big mounds up into the heavens, which sounds stupid until... Our termites! <laughs> they live in these huge two to three meter tall skyscrapers. Bush skyscrapers, let's call them that, eh? And then Kang Kok convinces a crap ton of insects to crawl up these mounds and bite the Sky God on the feet. <laughs> and that is how they defeated the Sky Gods and made him bring back the rain. To this day, the people of the Isan area of Thailand shoot off bamboo rockets filled with hand-mixed gunpowder to remind the Sky God of his promise. There you have the true reason why Thailand has a rainy season, or so these superstitious people believe. Welcome to Thailand!